Half as interesting is now one year old, which is amazing. That means there are only 13 years until the channel can get a learner's driving permit in Alaska, 14 years until it can drink in Ethiopia, and 15 years until it can get a pilot's license. This is all assuming someone creates a sentient robot modeled after this YouTube channel, which I would love help with. I absolutely sincerely promise not to use it to overthrow the Tongan government in order to create the world's only city-state with a planned economy centered around writing bad, awkwardly integrated jokes for the internet. What also wasn't in the plan, though, was making a mistake in any half as interesting video, and that happened, so I really can't make any promises. You see, sometimes we make mistakes because we're terrible, terrible people, and as terrible, terrible people, we desperately want more views, subscribers, and money, so we're making this extra special video to correct every, or rather, almost every mistake we've ever made. In the very first episode, we started out strong by telling you that China is the fourth largest country in the world by landmass, while it's actually the third. Then, in the episode about the 64-day longest flight in history, we said that when the record-breaking plane's power generator failed, they had no heat, whereas, in reality, the heat in a Cessna 172 comes from the engine, which was still running, so while they had no light or autopilot, they did have heat during their blackout. In the video about the massive spreadsheet that runs the world's postal system, I said, The UPU is made up of the CA, the POC, the IB, and the Congress, but you really didn't need to know any of that. I just felt we didn't have enough acronyms in our life. What I really felt we didn't have enough of were initialisms, because acronyms are when the first letters of different words make up a pronounceable word like NASA, whereas initialisms are when you say each letter separately, like with the UN, an ATM, or in this case, the CA, POC, and IB. In the video on how fast you can circumnavigate the world on commercial flights, I said that there are 8 hours in a day when you can catch a flight to Europe from the US East Coast, even though the graphic clearly shows 9 hours. My math just sucks. In the same video, I pronounced Melbourne terribly by saying Melbourne. And the animator also decided to put Melbourne where Adelaide is. This one's on him. I can barely blame him though, as two episodes later I pronounced Canberra as Canberra. Three episodes later, I angered all the Angelinos by saying that this intersection is in downtown LA, whereas downtown LA is apparently here. I made some more blunders down under a few episodes later by referring to the state of South Australia as Southern Australia, then in the video about how there are really more than five senses, we tested one of your senses by having just a huge audio spike in the middle of the video. In the next episode, a keen commenter pointed out that the image we show for the Museum of Osteopathic Medicine in Kirksville, Missouri is not actually the Museum of Osteopathic Medicine in Kirksville, Missouri. For some reason, there aren't many copyright-free images of this super interesting museum. In the next video about the longest train journey in the world, we said that Spain built their train tracks at a different gauge than France so that France couldn't invade by train, which is apparently a notorious myth. In reality, they just built them at a different gauge because Spain is more mountainous and wider tracks allow for larger, more powerful engines which can climb a steeper gradient. We also said that on the French-Spanish border where you have to switch trains since the track gauge is different, you have to cross the bridge from Hendai to Iran, while well, in reality to change trains there's this tiny Spanish train station in the parking lot of the French train station on the French side of the river, so you don't actually have to cross the bridge. In the episode about why every price ends in 99 cents, for some reason we put the cent symbol in front of the number, which just doesn't make sense. In the episode about the one road in the US that uses metric, we said that the Mars Climate Orbiter crashed due to a conversion error, but it was actually a little different. It crashed because a computer was outputting data in pound force seconds rather than newton seconds. We had more metric mess ups in the video on the 53 second shortest flight in the world, where we said that 120 miles was 139 kilometers, whereas it's really 193 kilometers. Finally, in the episode about the ghost flights at Heathrow, we showed Chicago O'Hare's airport runway configuration as this. They've had some recent runway construction and closures, which means that they now currently use these runways. The biggest mistake I ever made, though, was setting my Club Penguin password to Sam the Penguin Man because that is a classic insecure password. It doesn't have different cases, numbers, or special characters, but remembering a password like e 5 at 2 siz usj at w is tough. If you sign up for Dashlane, though, who made this special episode possible, they store all your passwords in one super secure place and autofill them whenever you need to log in. You can sign up for free at dashlane.com slash HAI, but if you want to upgrade to premium, you can get 30 free days and 10% off with the code HAI.